leave insert higher level maths 2020 paper two this is the solution video for question four so question four is a trigonometry question and it starts off with a trigonometric equation find the two values of theta for which tan of theta over two is equal to minus one over root three where theta is between zero and four pi, four pi. So to solve this equation here, I instead of solving for theta over two, I'm gonna do tan of alpha is equal to minus one over root three. And we can get alpha then is equal to the inverse tan of minus one over root three. So if we go, we can find that in our log tables or on your calculator. Just make sure you're using radians. Alpha is equal to minus pi over six. Now, what we need to know here is that the tan of minus pi over six is equal to minus one over root three. But we, we know that the tan of minus an angle is also the same as minus tan of the angle, the positive sense of the angle. So that gives us pi over six, and pi over six is our reference angle. So pi over six is a reference angle. We're gonna to go to our unit circle C-A-S-T, and we want to know when is tan negative. Tan, tan is negative in the second and in the fourth quadrant. So it's going to be pi minus, or pi over 6, and it's going to be 2 pi minus, or pi over 6. So alpha is equal to pi minus pi over 6. So alpha is equal to pi minus pi over 6 is 5 pi over 6. And alpha is also going to be equal to 2 pi minus pi over 6. So alpha is equal to 2 pi minus pi over 6 is 11 pi over 6. Now, we're not done because we didn't want to find alpha. We wanted to find theta. Now, I know that alpha is equal to theta over 2. So that means theta over 2 is equal to 5 pi over 6. So if I want to find theta, I multiply across by 2. Theta is equal to uh, 2 times 5 pi over 6 is 10 pi over 6, which simplifies down to 5 pi over 3. And that's radians. And then for the other one, it's pi or theta over 2 is equal to 11 pi over 6. So then multiply across by 2 to get uh, 2 times 11 pi over 6, which is 22 pi over 6, or 11 pi over 3. And again, it's radians. So those are our two values for theta, uh, for which tan of theta over 2 is equal to minus 1 over root 3. And on to part B then. So part B says the diagram shows OAB, which is the sector of a circle, which has radius 7 with center O. In the sector OA, uh, the angle BOA is 1.2 radians. The area of the shaded region is 21 square centimetres. Find BC, this length here, find BC, correct to one decimal place. So the area of a sector is half or squared theta when it's in radians. So I can sub that in. So that's a half or, which is seven. So that's seven squared and theta is 1.2. So half by seven squared by 1.2 works out to be 29.4 square centimeters. So that's the total area of this um, sector. Now, if this shaded region is 21, let's call this region here uh, 
a2, a2 is equal to 29.4 minus 21, a2 is going to be equal to 8.4 square centimetres. So I have the area of this, which is a triangle. Now the area of a triangle is equal to a half a b sine c. So if I have, say, two sides and the angle between them, then I can find the area. But I have the area, I have one side and I have one angle. So I can find this side here. We can call it x or we can call it a even. So the area of the triangle is 8.4. So 8.4 is equal to a half a b is 7. So a by 7 by sine of c, it's sine of 1.2. And again, that's in radians. So then to find uh, a, to get a, isolate a on its own, I can divide 8.4 by a half, 7 sine 1.2. So a is equal to 8.4 divided by a half by 7 is 3.5. And then sine 1.2. So my angle A, if you do 8.4 divided by 3.5 sine 1.2, make sure your calculator is in radians, you get A is equal to 2.575. We're not looking for this A, we're looking for this one here. So it's going to be 7 minus that. So B, C is equal to 7 minus 2.575. So that's equal to correct to one decimal place is 4.4 centimeters. Okay, so thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just ask in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.